And now the second of tonight's quick comments. I'll handle this one. Once again, your Senate to the high bidder. In action on these nominees, the senator said, is a disservice to the American people exacted by members of the opposing party who, quote, chose to block the process for political gain. The complaining senator was Richard Shelby of Alabama. The year was 2005. The nominees were President Bush's. The opposition senators choosing to block the process for political gain were Democrats. But now another senator is holding up President Obama's nominees, choosing to block the process for political gain. This other senator has put a blanket hold on 70 to 80 of them, from appointees at Homeland Security to appointees to the Department of Justice Intel Division, because he wants, of all things, an earmark. A $35 billion contract for tankers is going to the American firm Boeing. This senator is delaying counterterrorism appointees because he wants the contract to be taken away from Boeing and given instead to the makers of Airbus, a firm based in France. Airbus just happens to have assembly plants in the senator's state. It just happens to have given that senator at least $34,000 in personal and PAC donations since 2000. It just happens to use the lobbying firm that employs the senator's former legislative director. The senator deliberately keeping American intelligence understaffed so he can get $35 billion to go to a foreign company from whose TT sucks is Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama. The system of senatorial holds has outlived its usefulness so have this senator for rent hypocrites like Richard Shelby.